Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, in today's video, we're here at a local country club in the city of Ranch Mirage. And as you guys can see, we have a car hauler that's actually hauling golf carts. That's uh, high centered right here. Talking to the driver, he has been to this country club before and has done the same thing, uh, but he just hit the angle wrong. So he is a little bit stuck there. So being that he is as lightly loaded as he is, I mean, obviously he's loaded, but just with golf carts, um, I'm electing to just pull him straight through rather than back down because there's really nowhere for him to turn around down there. Um, so he also needs to go out that driveway, but due to the angles that we're working with here, if I put the rotator there, the whole front end of this truck is basically going to jackknife before we start putting pressure on that trailer. So I don't, if we do that, I believe that he will no longer have the proper angle to make this turn and then we're gonna have another set of problems. So I think what we're gonna do here is I set up the rotator over there. We're gonna pull the tractor that way, get him going up that driveway. And then from there, we should be able to back him up over into there, get the trailer going that way and pull him out either one of these driveways. So I think that's the move here. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. These car haulers are all built with skid plates on the bottom because they sit so low. So it is, you know, basically designed to take some sort of sliding. Uh, and then also we, as you guys can see, it's wet. It's been raining all day. So we shouldn't have any problems sliding this. Uh, it should slide pretty easy with the, uh, the wet ground and the skid plate there. So first order of business, I'm gonna set out some cones right here so no one comes careening through here and decapitates himself with a cable and we'll get to work. All right, let's get our cones real quick. So, may seem stupid to put uh, cones out, but people on their phones these days not paying attention, they will drive right through your job site, potentially right into your cable. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use this red strap here and two shackles. Truck's filthy from working in the rain today. Did a uh, rollover earlier, but it was raining so heavy I was not confident my microphones would survive. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, I'll probably have you just put it in drive, but no, uh, don't like spin the tires, just let it idle. I'll stand right next to you, I got my remote. Yeah, go ahead and steer to the left a bit. That looks good. Okay, are you in uh, drive? Okay, do you have a differential lock? Does it like, yeah, it's locked, okay. Yeah, don't, no throttle for now, let's just let it idle, but leave it in drive. See if we can pull you through. Go ahead and turn left a bit more, okay. Slide the front end. There it goes. Go ahead and steer a bit to your right. Perfect. Okay, let me lock up my brakes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna engage the winch brake that locks up the uh, service brakes on the front axle. Okay, same thing. A little bit to the left. There we go. Let's go on. Yeah. Hang on one second. So we're not chocolate and everything. So you can see the whole back tires are in the air right there. Should 
Should start coming up here in a second. Come on, baby. There it goes. All right, go ahead and set your brakes there. Let me get the overlift on it too and see if that's gonna... Oh, on the trailer? Okay, yeah, go for it. Might give it to you. It's close. It might, it might bring it up enough yeah. to be clear. It's close. I'd say, if, it, if not, a couple more feet. So I'll pull forward if not. <laughs> well, I turned it on when I got, you know, when it got stuck. Right. And it was already up, uh -huh. up enough that the tires were just about off the ground. Right, so right, right. It like, yeah, it might. Um, here, I will. You have about five feet before you run into me, so why don't you give it a little bit of gas? Yeah, you're good. Go ahead and uh, set your brakes there. Yeah, that's cool. Um, do you think you can jackknife yourself right here? Or you want to kind of shimmy it over? Okay. I'll probably uh, I'll probably back up next to you. That way, I'm on that side just in case. Okay. But I think you're okay. my dedicated winching strap. They say that you shouldn't lift, use uh, straps for lifting and winching because the forces that you subject a strap to in winching is unknown. Thank you. Are these yours? Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. Waiting for uh, this car to move. There we go. So, a lesson I learned a long time ago was always think ahead and position yourself so that you don't get yourself basically stuck behind the truck that you just pulled out or the job that you're doing especially in soft sand conditions let's say you winch a truck right up to you and then you get yourself stuck then because you tried to go forward now you can't even go back because the truck's right behind you so that's why i'm positioning myself on this side just in case he he starts to spin or has a problem here i'm here to uh, assist I, th I think it'd be okay though. He looks he looks plenty good. I don't know if uh, there's enough room for you to go to that side, but I already told the security guard you're going straight out. So cool. Okay. All right, buddy. No, you're good. All right. Yep. All right. That's a wrap. Let's get out of here. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. A little short, original winch out action like in the old times or in the OG times of the videos. This is how it all started. Pretty cool. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Morning, everybody. It is an uh, overcast day here in Indio. Can't complain about the weather at all. Uh, we're going to be at least right now loading up a D5 dozer onto our 16 tire Koza that you see behind me. Um, yeah, D5 dozer with slope boards. We're gonna be taking it out to a customer that uh, rented the machine. So the trailer is spread out to 10 feet wide and from here to the place that we're going, the Caterpillar dealer, there's not enough, uh, I guess, distance to travel for those axles to collapse. So I'm just gonna leave them out. It's gonna be an oversized load anyway. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, just a local move. But yeah, normally, the weight of this D5 dozer would not require us to be 10 feet wide, but we're set like that already. So no biggie. Let's go ahead and head over there and uh, get our machine loaded. And I'll show you how we load the dozer over the back. That'll be fun. All right. All right, we're here at the cat dealer. We got uh, Jonathan already here. He's loading up a uh, 8K reach, going to a Madison Club, and then he's picking up a 5K reach. Coming back. 
All right, guys, they are uh, still washing the machine over there, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna throw our chains out, get everything prepped here. All right, now we wait. Let's go check on Jonathan. Nice. I'm gonna have to grab a cat key to leave with the customer. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start this girl up. Thank you. It's all good. Back there somewhere. Don't worry about it, man. I'll get you another one. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's turn. No, it's in new there. Neutral. Turn the parking brake off. Hydraulics are live. There were. There they go. Nope. There it goes. Okay. Hydraulics. Bring the blade up. Thank you. Alright, blades up. Just go ahead and pivot straight and then uh, where's my slope board control? There it is. So basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to uh, drive right up to the back of the uh, coast out here. I'm going to use the blade to lift myself up. I'm going to track forward. Basically start climbing up. We're going to look like we're going to tip backwards. But then as we do that, I'm going to use the ripper to pop the back end up. And that'll kind of crest us over. And uh, we should be sitting pretty on top of the trailer there. Really the key here is just make sure you're straight. And just try to do it all in one fluid motion because what you can do is get hung up on the trailer and then the tracks just spin uh, instead of actually moving you somewhere and then you do have the potential to like basically skin the top of the tires if you're not careful. So I really do enjoy loading these cat machines over the back, at least the newer ones because you, you can dial the speed way back. Whereas on the older ones or some other machines, you can't, you don't really have as fine control over the speed. Right now I'm just strictly using the center of the machine to try to line myself up until I see the trailer here. I haven't seen it yet. Visibility out of the cat machine is pretty good too compared to some other machines. don't see the trailer starting to see the shadow okay there's the bottom of the trailer so let's see where we're at here Actually didn't even need to use the uh, ripper. I'm gonna dial the speed like way back, but idle high. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I'm just using the references here. I'm gonna keep tracking. Okay, Ripper's coming up. Ripper's up. Oh, 
was an interesting noise. We can cheat the blade one way or another here. Get it close to the ground here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it straight. Uh, <laughs> the trailer's 10 foot wide in the back anyway, so there's not really any reason to cheat it. But what you can do is you can pivot the blade one way and then kind of cockeye the machine a little bit to bring your width down a little bit, but I'll be crazy. All right. All right, guys, we're all loaded, chained up, ready to go. Got four chains all the way around. And we are secured to the tracks. If you don't like that, comment, and I will laugh at you. Chains are, are on the tracks are acceptable here in California, at least. So, all right, let's roll. But got about a mile drive. That was a little bit exciting. There was uh, quite the terrain we had to traverse there. Um, I'm just looking at it right now. I don't think I'm gonna wanna drop here just because of the slope we got. Pull forward a bit here. I'm gonna chuck this binder down on the floor. So just in case it doesn't get caught. Let's offload. All right, I'm up in the machine, guys. We're gonna go ahead and start her up. Bring our blade up. Put this thing in the lowest speed it has. Reverse, give it some juice. And we'll just track back nice and slow here. Pretty much straight, so I'm not gonna do really much left to right here. Maybe just a kick to the driver. There we go. I also got the trailer spread out to 10 feet, so we got a lot of wiggle room, for lack of better terms. here which is fine we even use the decelerator a little bit to just slow us down there's the crest good keep it going start bringing that ripper down to catch our fall essentially the way down there. We're tracking, we're tracking. There's the fall. And then we'll start bringing our ripper up as we track. Just like that. Okay, ripper's all the way up now. Okay, now we're just going to continue to track. Easy, 
And we're on the ground. And I guess we'll put it over here next to this other one. So they're doing a demo here. They're demoing the old library. That's a wrap. So, while we're here, I'll show you guys something. See that cactus structure right there? Maybe Sophie can add some uh, overlay of video or pictures of us moving that. But we actually transported that on this trailer and then lifted it in place with the rotator. It's about uh, 20 feet tall, and we had to go through the streets of Indio here. So that was pretty fun. Unfortunately, I did not video that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool structure. So, all right, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and uh, head back to the yard and see what else is happening.